At NVIDIA, we strive to push the envelope of what's possible in real-time graphics. And a few years ago, we started pursuing this idea of ray tracing as a technology that could revolutionize computer graphics as we saw it. And it did. By simulating the physical behavior of light, gaming experiences have become more realistic, providing a huge leap in visual quality over rasterization. The biggest AAA blockbusters, like Cyberpunk 2077, have already turned RTX on with individual ray traced effects, including ray trace reflections, shadows, ambient occlusion, and more. Today, however, we want to talk about path tracing, or what we refer to as full ray tracing, which dramatically increases the visual realism of Cyberpunk 2077 in the new ray tracing overdrive mode. Path tracing has been one of the main lighting algorithms used in offline rendering for years. A combination of GeForce RTX 40 series and the LSS3 has allowed us to bring all this GPU-intensive goodness into the real-time graphics. Full ray tracing unifies all lighting effects into a single algorithm. Since they're more dynamic, since every light source can now cast accurate shadows, and the light itself can bounce multiple times between various surfaces and produce pixel perfect indirect illumination on every object. This ultimately is the next generation of visual fidelity that wasn't possible before with the individual ray trace techniques. At CD Projekt Red, we always focus on deep stories. To make them as grounded and immersive as possible, we want to build super believable worlds that players will love diving into. And we're super excited about this next level of image quality, which we can achieve with Cyberpunk's ray tracing over drive mode. We believe that it allows players to immerse even deeper in the world we have created. Our full ray tracing mode seamlessly combines several different ray tracing techniques that had to be done separately before. The first of these is RTX Direct Illumination or RTX DI. RTX DI dramatically enhances the realism of any light source, be it a neon sign, street lamp, car headlight, or any other object. Now, lights and shadows will appear much more lifelike. It almost magically breaks with all the previous limitations of shadows in games by giving us almost unlimited amount of physically correct soft shadows for better occlusion, more depth, and detail in the world. Practically all the light sources on the screen cast realistic shadows. In addition to RTX DI, we also have a new fully ray traced global illumination algorithm that provides pixel perfect and responsive global illumination. What used to take a combination of different techniques like SSR, SSAO, and Pro based Diffuse GI is all they can care of in a single unified way. This new illumination system can also now span the entire game world with multiple bounces for diffuse lighting and reflections at full resolution, which massively improves their quality and realism. This is especially exciting since multiple bounce reflections weren't passable in the game previously. What's more, also the way they bound with indirect diffuse make them absolutely balanced and physically correct in any scenario. GeForce players will be able to take a peek at this future in the ray tracing overdrive mode of Cyberpunk 2077 with maximum performance. This can be mainly attributed to the sheer power of GeForce RTX 40 series and technologies like DLSS 3 and Shader Execution Reordering, or SER. DLSS 3 combines DLSS Super Resolution, DLSS Frame Generation, and NVIDIA Reflex to multiply your performance while maintaining great visual fidelity and low latency. On top of all that, SER helps GPUs with executing incoherent workloads, which are very common during path tracing. All these things combined provide the ultimate Cyberpunk 2077 experience. Creating a virtual world as visually complex and ambitious as Night City was a massive challenge. With the next level visuals of full ray tracing and performance of DLSS3, gamers will experience the beauty of Night City like they've never seen it before. At CD Projekt Red, we're excited for you to try ray tracing over drive mode for yourself.